Today, we are going to talk about the biggest reason of failures for students who have been studying sincerely but still are not able to get good ranks in NEET PG. Now, it is understandable that someone who has not even able to complete their syllabus, someone who has not revised properly or someone who has not solved questions do not get good ranks. But students who have sincerely been studying, completed the syllabus, revised it once or twice, even solved questions, went to some coaching institute, but still are not able to get good ranks. After talking to so many students, I realized the biggest problem and the probable solution is the concept of one subject, one source. This concept is a very easy to understand concept. It simply says that for each subject, there should be one and only one source. Now, typically, any student, what he will do, he will be referring to his own notes, he will be referring to a review book, he may be referring to some coaching institute notes, he may be referring to so, so many places. And what he does not do is consolidate the information from so many different sources to one place. So here comes the concept of for each and every subject, there should be one and only one source. Let's explore this concept further. First, understand why it is very, very important that you have one and only one source for each subject. The most important part is, if you have only one source, you are sure to complete it. If you refer to multiple array of materials, you will never be able to complete your syllabus or even a subject. You feel more confident with time. Suppose for anatomy, you are referring to some review notes and every time anything about anatomy, you just refer to those notes, you feel slowly and steadily more confident with time. Then you can keep updating it. One of the most as critical aspect is there are always new information coming in. Now, if you refer to one source, you can keep updating that source so that you feel confident that all the information, new, old, important, latest, trending, all is in one place. And if you just focus your attention on one source, you will be getting every update. And most important thing is, it makes revision very, very easier. Just rem remember, if it is one source, you know that it's just one book which you have to revise every time for a subject, you are damn much more uh, likely to go and revise it. And it is the revision which is going to decide how well you perform your PG entrance examination. So understanding this, let's see what are the possible sources and explore the pros and cons of each of these sources. First would be your own handwritten notes or your own notes. Now, uh, very few students will have it, but people who have it, this is the best source, period. If you have your own handwritten notes, that is the best source. But suppose you are already an intern and you have already started uh, preparing for your entrance examination, this is not possible. If you are still an undergraduate, you can start with making your own notes. So, the pros is obviously this is the best source. Since you have written it, you have arranged things in certain way, you will remember it much better. And the cons is that yes, it takes a lot of time to make your own notes. Second thing is review question bank. Review question bank, question banks which are written by for one question bank for each subject and they are written by subject specialist. So review question bank could be another source. The best part of the review question bank is the author has already done the hard work to compile critical information from various different sources. The author, since he or she is a specialist, would have cross-checked the fact. So the probability of getting the facts wrong is much lesser. And the most important is most of these review banks will also have a you know, data bank at the end of each chapter. So you can actually revise the uh, subject matter by solving the questions. Now, when I'm talking about review question bank, I'm not talking something like a cross or magic notes, which has a compilation of all the subjects. Here, typically two or three authors will write the entire book. What I want when I'm talking about is review question bank in terms of uh, individual subject uh, review banks. Third is obviously coaching institute notes. Coaching institute notes are also very updated, but the only problem which I find with coaching institute notes is their way to elaborate. I myself was never able to complete any coaching institute notes. So, but if you are following a coaching institute, if you are going, if you have joined a regular coaching institute patch, then I think even coaching institute notes would be a good source. 
and finally there are still some people who refer to or who want to follow basic books for their pg entrance examination i generally do not recommend going back to making basic books your single point of source because those books are written with a different end in mind they are written so that to ensure that you have a conceptual clarity but pg entrance examination is a different ball game although a lot of concept understanding is required for pg entrance examination but basic books are somehow not designed for you to you know use it maximally to get a pg entrance examination but still suppose for a subject you have done uh, that subject very well from a basic book you can still take that possible source as one, the source for subject so what i want to say is there can be a lot of different sources but once you decide that for this subject this is my source you are not going to follow anything else except that source so say for anatomy you have decided your own notes will be your source so for anatomy you just refer for anything to your own notes for biochemistry if you feel that some question bank is very good and i want to follow it just follow that for some subject some coaching institute note is very good just keep following that but the bottom line is for each subject you have to follow just one and one only source my suggestion well here is my suggestion of this you zero in on one review question bank you can refer to various uh, topper interviews uh, i think there are some great topper interviews on youtube or also on pg uh, pgblazer.com it's a awesome site i refer to it for topper interviews so you can zero it on one question bank you can read the interviews and decide for which subject which one review bank you want to follow then what you do is you remove the pages so just to keep the theory portion out so if you see any review bank it will have both the theory as well as the questions and explanations you just remove the theory part of it and from the question part of it so what you have is from a 300 to 400 page question bank you will have some 100 page of or 150 page of theory questions theory pages and 250 pages of questions now this 150 page of theory is what you want to refer it every time what you do is you spiral band it with each chapter after each chapter you put 5 to 10 empty pages why i want to you to put 5 to 10 empty pages is so that if any new information comes you can add it to the relevant chapter so what you have is some 100 150 pages of original book notes you spiral bind it with few blank sheets in between and you are ready to go that becomes your source of reference and yes you start rocking with this hope this was helpful help me by sharing this video with your friends and everyone thank you